Hey YouTube and welcome back to Diva Styles. Uh, this is a requested video. Guys, let me tell y'all. I am in Microsoft Word right now. Um, the version that I'm using is 2016, so I'm not sure if this is going to be the same for everybody, but this was a highly requested video. Let me tell y'all. It took me so long to figure this out. This was a goddamn process, but look, I have freaking glitter words, polka dot words, and stripe words in freaking Microsoft, okay? Now, let me tell y'all. First off, I looked up a ton of videos on YouTube. Nobody shows how to do this. Nobody. Nobody even, like, you, you can't even find it on Google. I, I've Googled it. I put in a ton of different, you know, wording to try to figure this out. Y'all, this was, this was complicated. Like, people been requesting this for a while now. Okay, but I finally figured out how to do it. And y'all, it might be a little confusing, but just, just bear with me. So I'm going to pretty much start all the way over. I'm going to just get a fresh page. We're going to do this fresh because this is pretty much how it's going to be for y'all. Y'all starting fresh. So um, as you go to the insert. Now, I never even thought about this or knew this was here. Smart art. You're going to click on smart art and you're going to go down to list. And then you click OK from there. And then you see all these little different texts. Now, we're going to use these. You can erase them if you don't need all of them. Now, you don't have to use all of them. You can delete them. But I'm just going to um, use them. Glitter word. Uh, polka dots. I'm going to do the same thing again. Stripes. And then, like I said, we don't have to use um, all these. Goodness. Delete. Shoot. Yeah, delete that crap. Okay. So, you don't have to use them. You can delete them. And as you can see, you can um, you can move these around. Okay. So, let's get into this. So, first, of course, you highlight your word and you go to form format. And it's back to text field. And right now, you can see picture is now there. You can now add a picture to the word. So, of course, all you need is a glitter picture. That's it. A picture of some, what is that? Okay, I'll use that, of some glitter. And then, uh, let me take away this background. Let me click on that go to format. Shape fill, we don't want nothing there. So as you can see, it is now um it's glitter. Like it is what it is, you guys. So let's do the same thing for this, but let's do some polka dots instead. Go back to text fill picture. Now you gotta make sure you have these images though. Let's use the purple polka dots. Now let's um yeah, let's do that. Now let's find some stripes. Candy cane. Mom? Yes, yes. I now you want a candy cane. Yay! I didn't say you could have a candy cane. I'm asking. Now you want a candy cane. Hmm. Mom. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, honey. Go ahead. Okay, so. No, no, no. No, don't go on mommy's desk. Mommy got some in one of these bags. I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, I got some candy cane. Look, it might be some candy canes in that bag. I don't know about y'all, but uh, anytime it's a Christmas sale, I always buy the candy canes. So we have like tons and tons of candy canes. Anyways, okay, so let me go ahead. Let me make these bigger so that you guys can really see. Um, like, I'm just really excited that I, I learned how to do this. You guys didn't find the candy canes? Look. I told y'all I had candy canes. You okay. Yeah, I found it. You guys did it. These are bad candy canes, so don't tell them. Got pumpkin? There you go. I got bad. Yeah, those I, are I got bad. Candy canes. 
Okay, so um, like I said, let me do these. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make these a little bit bigger so that you can uh, see the effect. But you guys, I was so excited when I finally figured out how to do this. Like, yeah, I need an award. Um, you know, like something, because this was a freaking process. But look, we got it. We figured it out. And that's pretty much how you can do a picture image inside of your words and pretty much get it looking nice, I guess. But I never would have even thought of that. Now, um, another effect that I want to show you that you can do also in Word, if you're using Word, I showed you how to do the glow effect, but I showed you how to do that in Publisher. And a lot of you don't have Publisher. So I'm going to show you also how to do that, uh, I guess, with Word. Let, let's do it on Good or Word. Yeah. Okay, so I'm so excited. Let me just be sure that I remember what I'm doing. Okay, so let's go to Text Effects. Yes. And if you go to Text Effects and you go down to Glow, you will see it. And it is set up the exact same way. Look at that. Nice. What? What? Y'all, what? Look at that. That that's going a little bit too much, but you get the idea. You gotta tweak it, you know. But shoot, for the uh, most part, no, no, we no. we did that. Let's go down to glow options, cause uh, that is like that's really strong. Okay, let me change the color too. Shoot. Okay, now let's um let's make this thing glow some more. Bigger. Okay, now see that looks prettier. That looks way better. And it makes it look like it's almost blinging. You feel me? But um y'all, you know what? You know I do accept donations. They on my page because I did do this for y'all. Mm-hmm. Let me quit. Y'all know I don't ask y'all for anything. But if you would like to donate, it is on the page. Um Yes, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I'm going to, you know, continue to try to figure things out for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have also been asking about mock-ups. I've been trying to figure that out. I'm trying to get that together for you guys because that's something I've always wanted to do also. If not, I'm just going to buy it and just get y'all, I guess, the template because it was talking about you had to download a pro. Look, okay, I'm rambling have any questions please feel free to ask as always um i will see you guys soon bye